today's main news in the southeast. A million pounds in the red. A Sussex school cuts staff, whilst the boss of the trust that runs it gets a pay rise. Is it the end of their reign? Whitstable Carnival says it's received no entrance for this year's Carnival Queen. We're live with the details. And 10 mermaids, 26 miles. Preparations are underway for a record-breaking attempt at this weekend's Brighton Marathon. Good afternoon. The chief executive of a large academies trust is receiving a pay rise that will increase her salary to more than £150,000 a year, even though one of the schools the trust runs is facing huge budget cuts and could axe more than 30 staff. Thousands of people have signed a petition against plans by the Kemnell Academies Trust to cut costs at the Thomas Bennett Community College in Crawley. Our education correspondent Lauren Moss reports. A million pounds in the red. Those who run Thomas Bennett Community College are consulting on how to balance the books. 35 support staff could be made redundant and special educational needs teachers will be cut. The Trust says, like many other schools in Sussex, it's been hit hard by a lack of government funding and a drop in pupil numbers. We've looked at all options open to us and this is the most viable option is to, to restructure the school. Whilst looking at making these staff redundancies, the Chief Executive of the Trust is receiving a 7% pay increase to £165,000 a year. How is that justifiable? Pay, pay is a separate issue to, the, to what we're addressing in this school, so I can't really comment on that. But what I can say is that the Trust is putting in additional funding into the school and by the end of this year there will be an additional £1 million worth of funding going into the school and over the next five years we're looking at about £4.5 million additional funds going into the school. The Trust had originally planned to close the sixth form. That now won't happen but its proposals have been met with angry opposition. The plans that they've put forward for restructure will damage the school, will damage uh, the, the ability of staff to, to look after the pupils and it will make the school less attractive uh, for the community and the Academy Trust who runs the school have cash reserves of over £7 million. They can fix this. This isn't the first time salaries and school budgets have come under the spotlight recently. Last month, the group of MPs met to discuss the pay of Academy trustees nationwide. They want the government to keep a close eye on this and take action if it isn't justified. The consultation runs until the end of the month. The final decision will be made ahead of September. Well, Lauren is with me now. Lauren, MPs are scrutinising high salaries and how school finances are being run. So how has the Department for Education responded to this? The government has already committed to ensure that academies, finances and forecasts are published, but the Public Accounts Committee wants this to go even further and see if that data can be compared to school performance. The committee says high salaries deprive the front line of schools from vital funding. The Kemnall Academies Trust and others like it say that isn't the case and insist that they are are separate pots of money. Meanwhile, a public meeting to discuss the consultation around Thomas Bennett Community College will be held on the 25th of April. Thanks, Lauren.